Welcome to today's episode. If you're thinking about buying a home this year or just curious about the real estate market, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll be discussing the top 10 worst cities to buy a home in the U.S. in the current market. We'll break down the reasons why these locations are risky investments, from economic downturns and natural disasters to crime rates and declining infrastructure. So let's dive right in. Kicking off our list at number 10 is San Francisco, California. Once a real estate gold mine, San Francisco has seen skyrocketing home prices for years. Currently, the market is showing signs of stagnation. High interest rates, combined with the tech industry's instability, have led to a cooling market. The cost of living remains among the highest in the country, and many potential buyers are priced out. If the tech bubble bursts, home values could plummet, making it a risky place to invest right now. Coming in at number 9, we have Detroit, Michigan. Despite some revitalization efforts, Detroit still faces significant challenges. The city's population continues to decline, leading to an oversupply of homes. Crime rates remain high, and many neighborhoods are struggling with blight. While property prices are low, the risks associated with long-term value and safety make Detroit a less-than-ideal place to buy a home in today's market. At number 8 is New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans is a city rich in culture and history, but it's also one that's increasingly vulnerable to natural disasters. The city's ongoing battle with hurricanes, flooding, and rising sea levels makes it a high-risk area for property damage. Home insurance rates are through the roof, and many residents face the constant threat of losing their homes. These environmental risks make New Orleans one of the riskiest places to buy a home. Number seven on our list is Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland is dealing with a shrinking population and a struggling economy. The city's job market remains weak, and many areas suffer from high crime rates and poor public services. While housing prices might be attractive, the long-term outlook isn't promising, making Cleveland a tough sell for home buyers. At number six, we have Miami, Florida. Known for its beaches and vibrant culture, Miami is also known for its volatile real estate market. The city has seen significant price increases over the last few years, but currently, Concerns about rising sea levels and increasingly frequent hurricanes are casting a shadow over the market. Additionally, the high cost of living and heavy reliance on the tourism industry, which can be unpredictable, make Miami a risky place to buy a home. Number five is Hartford, Connecticut. Hartford has long been plagued by economic struggles and a declining population. The city's high taxes, combined with a weak job market, make it difficult for homeowners to see a return on their investment. Right now, Hartford's real estate market remains sluggish, and it's one of the worst places to buy a home if you're looking for long-term value. Coming in at number four is St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis faces significant economic challenges, including a high unemployment rate and slow job growth. The city also grapples with high crime rates and deteriorating infrastructure. While home prices are relatively low, these issues make it a less than desirable place to invest in real estate at this time. At number three, we have Buffalo, New York. Buffalo has seen a population decline for decades, and despite some recent signs of growth, the city's economy remains weak. The harsh winters, coupled with a struggling job market, make it difficult for home values to appreciate. Additionally, high property taxes and declining public services add to the challenges of owning a home here. Number two on our list is Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore's real estate market has been in trouble for years. The city suffers from high crime rates, struggling schools, and deteriorating infrastructure. Many homes sit vacant, and the foreclosure rate is high. While some areas are seeing investment, the overall outlook remains grim, making Baltimore a risky choice for home buyers in today's real estate market. Finally, the number one worst city to buy a home right now is Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson faces a perfect storm of issues, a declining population, a weak economy, and severe infrastructure problems, including ongoing issues with the city's water supply. Crime rates are high and the public school system is struggling. For home buyers, the risks far outweigh the benefits, making Jackson the riskiest place to buy a home this year. And that wraps up our list of the top 10 worst cities to buy a home in the U.S. in today's current real estate market. While each of these cities has its own unique challenges, the common thread is the high level of risk involved in buying property there. Remember, buying a home is a major investment, 
So it's crucial to do your research and consider all the factors before making a decision. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Blue Cactus YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. Until next time, stay informed and make smart choices.